Ah, fuck off! Fuck! Fucking hell! Evening, guys! Oh, shit! Oh, sorry, guys, I fucking. <sighs> See, I'm getting wound up already. Uh, evening, guys. Welcome to football with brownie, or welcome to football with a soaked fucking brownie. I uh, hope you're all well, keeping safe, keeping each other safe, and spreading the love during this pandemic. Due to other issues taking priority, I couldn't watch a Cardiff game yesterday. Uh, so, until a couple of hours ago, I deliberately ignored checking the score, checking league tables, and so on, until I watched it. And you know what? I wish I never fucking did it. Now, before I go any further, I'd like to clearly state that I didn't expect anything from the game points wise. Because now it's uh, a champion, uh, a premiership team in the championship. But it was the way we lost, which really fucked me off. Where do I start? No passion, no effort, and absolutely non-exist. Quality is non-existent, right? Don't get me started about Neil Harris. As a guy who would be the best salesman I've ever come across with his post-match interviews. Let's be honest, they're a thing of beauty. He can constantly convince you that a shit performance, which you've just watched with your own eyes, was something completely different. You know what, after, after watching that interview, I had to double check to see if it was the right game I was watching. If he wasn't in football, in my opinion, right, he's such a good salesman, if he wasn't in football, my opinion is that he'd be one of them dodgy bastards that ring up, uh, you know, the old, old, old people and con them out of their pension money. That's just how, how much a good to talk of a guy is. No wonder he is still convincing owner Vincent Tan, who lives miles away in Malaysia and knows fuck all about football, that he's doing a good job. A good job! Anyone with half a brain cell could see that Marlon Pack was on his way to a second yellow card. But no, Harris doesn't take him off, does he? He doesn't substitute him. He just sits back and let it happen. And Marlon Pack, I'd rather Marlon fucking dingle in the middle of a park. The defence was once again all over the shop. It's as if they all went out on the night before. And, and between them, they had the biggest come down of their life. In that post-match interview, sorry, Harris stated that we ruffled Norwich's feathers. Now, as people know, that was a play on words because Norwich's nickname are the Canaries. Which basically tells me that his comments were all pre-planned. I bet the bastard was standing in front of a mirror the night before, practicing his, his, his words in front of his missus, who was saying, oh, maybe you should reword that, love. Or maybe, you know, maybe you had this word, had that word. They were pre-planned fucking words. You know, I try my best to be positive. I really do. I really do. You know, it, it seems a lifetime ago now. I was dancing because we went away to bloody Stoke and, and Watford. It seems an absolute lifetime away. But the performance levels, to me, show me that Harris has lost the dressing room. Earlier on, I tried to relate to a friend, I tried to relate how Cardiff City are 
with a song. And it was the talking heads, we are on the road to nowhere. But I couldn't relate to it. And you know why? Because we are on a fucking road to somewhere. We're on a fucking road to League One with Harris in charge. I'm getting... I'm getting... Vincent Tan, what is your focus on this club? If you don't want to know, fuck off and sell it. Because surely we're keeping Harris in charge. It's, it's ridiculous. Vincent Tan, you have... You made your money in uh, hospitality and retail, you know, and hotels. Well, if one of your hotels uh, was, was failing, or one of your shops was failing, or one of your restaurants was failing, then you make fucking changes. Well, I tell you what, son, your fucking football club is failing. Right, I'm going. I need to fucking change my shirt. <sighs> we got three easier games coming up. And I'm hoping for minimum of seven points. Will Harris deliver? We will see. Take care. <laughs>